Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to start my new reading vlog and this one is going to be for December. Today is the 1st of December and I'm just so excited. December is one of my favorite times of the year obviously because of Christmas, of all the decorations and the lights which just turned off. <laughs> Um, I have a timer on them, so yeah, <laughs> they literally just turned off in front of me. Um, but yeah, I just love all the vibes and um, this vlog is probably going to be a little bit boring again because I'm still making my way through the Diviner series, which is the last of the five series I wanted to read this year. So we're cutting it quite close and I'm doing a separate reading vlog for those. Um, I'm almost done with the first book, so I have three more to go. And considering how little I'm reading right now, I guess that will take up most of my time. But also, I will listen to quite a few holiday audiobooks. I already did a video choosing my first one, was kind of a try a chapter tag, but there I also have a ranking, so I do know which ones to go with. Um, I'm not spoiling it right here. But I'm almost done with the first one, which is Make You Mind This Christmas. This is the one I had chosen in that vlog and it's absolutely fantastic. It's probably my favorite uh, Christmas book I have read, apart from A Christmas Carol. It is such a fun, messy, queer Christmas. It's, it's great. I love it. It's exactly what I wanted and I'm having so much fun with it. So I have about one and a half hours left. So I will probably let you know how I liked it tomorrow because I will probably have finished it. And then I'll also let you know what I will listen to next because I do have quite a few choices. And so I think that is mainly what I will talk about in this vlog. I'm also really excited because I have a ton of really cool advent calendars this year. I have two tea advent calendars, then my partner always makes one with usually tea and some snacks, so that's very exciting as well. My grandparents also gave me one that has like sauces and jams and stuff like that, so that one is really cool as well. I'm very excited to get more into that. And uh, then I have the body shop um, advent calendar from my mom, so yeah, <laughs> it's just amazing. Um, it's really, really cool to have so many great little gifts in the morning. It's definitely something that gets me out of bed. So yeah, I hope I can share some of these Christmassy vibes with you. I will pr I'll probably also go to some Christmas markets. Um, but yeah, i just take you along, I guess. So I'll talk to you when something happens. Look at that cute soap that a friend of mine got me yesterday. Isn't that so sweet? So today is the 3rd of December and I thought I'd give you a quick update. I'm currently cleaning my apartment so I don't look so hot. Um, I hope you can excuse that. But I have finished my audiobook Make You Mind This Christmas and it was so fun. I really enjoyed the ending as well. It's not very realistic to be honest but we don't really expect the realistic portrayal in these holiday romances. So I absolutely loved this one and I would highly, highly recommend it. I actually gave it 4.5 stars. I think that the romance is good. I think that the inclusion of different kinds of diversity in this book were really great. So we have a main character who is fat and I felt like the way this was incorporated in the story was done so that it was brought up in scenarios where it was realistic, but it wasn't beating you over the head with it. It was just something you knew about the character. And uh, yeah, I just really liked how that was brought into the story. And then the love interest has an illness. Because of that, she is using a walking stick and she also has chronic pain. 
So I can't really say anything about the portrayal of that, but I felt it was a good way to incorporate it in the story. But uh, I'm not one to judge that because I don't have any experiences with that. So um, overall, I just really, really loved that. It was so much bisexual chaos and I adored it. <laughs> that was exactly what I wanted from this book. And it's all the cozy feels. It is ridiculous. I was laughing out loud in so many moments of the book. And yeah, I, I just think you can't go wrong with this one. I really, really loved it. So that one is done and I had a very hard time choosing my next audiobook because I wanted to read the book club book for um, Riley Marie's Patreon book club and that one, um, A Merry Little Meet Cute I think it's called, um, this one is by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone and I did enjoy Julie Murphy's books before but I hadn't read any Sierra Simone so I thought I would start that one but then I looked it up on Goodreads and the ratings are terrible <laughs> um, for a romance book and so I got really confused and I was like maybe I don't start this so I think what I will do for now is just wait until people on the Patreon discord are reading it and then see how they like it and maybe I will read it later in the month um, but for now I took it off my wish list to be honest because I don't want to read a bad book. <laughs> so I was then a little bit confused what to read next um, because I had some books obviously from that whole try chapter video that I was still very interested in. I also had some books from previous years that I didn't get around to that I still had on my wish list. And so in the end I settled on a book that I thought sounded really cute. I think it's called Miracle on Christmas Street and this one is a book about a girl who moves to an actual Christmas street. So the street is called Christmas Street and it has a exactly 24 houses as you would as you would have guessed and so the inhabitants of the street are doing a real life advent calendar so every day one of the houses is doing something special my main character moved into house number 14 and so it is kind of just showing what they're doing every day and i think you know, bring in the festive stuff. And then in house number 24, there is actually a Mr. Winters, I think, and he hates the idea, but he'll probably come around, you know. Um, so I think this is kind of probably not quite a crumpy sunshine because I wouldn't say that the main character is very sunshine right now, but she is a um, preschool teacher for arts, so maybe maybe it is sunshine we'll see so uh yeah that's the book i went for i have listened to about 10 percent of it by now and i must say that i'm not in love with it unfortunately i think that the characterization isn't that great the characters all feel very stereotypical we have a gay couple that i feel a little bit mad about how they're written and also the audiobook narrator is not helping with that because the way she reads them is just a little bit too much like going too far into the stereotypes and that makes me a bit uncomfortable we also have the kind of instigator of the whole advent calendar idea who is a woman from Australia and the audible uh, the audiobook and narrator does a really bad job with his Australian accent unfortunately which is one of my favorite English accents when done well <laughs> it's so beautiful so that's kind of sad but I see where it goes um, I hope that when the kind of romantic tension starts um, it will hook me a little bit more um, but yeah we'll see about that. Also uh, there were some really mm, comments in that book regarding the parents of the main character because they are dentists and they went to a place where there's not a great medical um, infrastructure to work there for a year for free uh, to help the people there and the way some phrases were used in that regard was also not good at all like actually really bad <laughs> so keep that in mind if you're interested in this book I saw when I did my try chapter challenge one of the books that I did not keep in there 
actually had the same premise, I think, so I will have to see whether I can find that again, because maybe it's the same idea, but done better and written better. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I'm listening to for now, and I'll keep you updated on that. Apart from that, and I know this is a very long update, I need to shut up. Um, I have read The Diviners, um, I just finished it. And I'm doing a separate reading vlog for that, which hopefully will be up soon. I mean, I've only read the first book, but okay. But I immediately got the second book, Lair of Dreams, and I will start that later today after finishing all the cleaning bits and stuff. So today is the 6th of December and I'm still making my way through my books. I am now halfway through my audiobook, Miracle on Christmas Street. And this one is still kind of cute, but I'm not absolutely in love with it. I don't quite remember what I said about it already, but most of the points still stand. Now, I thought that the grumpy Mr. Winters would be the love interest in this story, but I was actually wrong because he's already a grandfather. And I think that it's actually the grandson that the romance will be with. But for now, our main character and the grandson are just exchanging emails, telling each other of their days. And there's also another character, Josh, who uh, there is some tension with. But our main character repeatedly tells us that he's not dating material because he's like super hot and a widower and <laughs> she just doesn't want that level of pressure, I guess, um, of fitting into his life and other women being jealous of her and stuff like that. So I don't think that the romance will be with Josh in the end, even though there is some scenes where there is a little bit of chemistry, I guess. So that's one thing that was unexpected and the romance therefore plays only the tiniest uh, role in this. And it is much more about the kind of trauma of our main character because she is a, a school teacher and she lost her last job because of a lie, basically, because a child lied about what happened. And now uh, she has to deal with that. And I think that it's 
is interesting and just around the halfway point now we get the full story because she drunkenly writes it to the grandson of Mr. Winters. So now we know the whole thing and there is also a mysterious letter from her old school that she obviously didn't open. <laughs> So I think uh, in the end that would probably be good news, like maybe they apologize or something like that. We'll see about that, but um, yeah. So if you expect a romance, I think this book is not the right one. This is more about the main character kind of dealing with, with what was going on in her life for the past year, like 13 months. And in that regard, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Cackle, because we again have that dynamic of a character who feels like her whole life has come crushing down, and now she's trying to build herself back up. And while doing that, she meets a older woman who becomes a very good friend. In this one we have this Australian woman that I think I mentioned before and uh, this older woman is trying to be a little bit of a guide. Now here <laughs> it is a bit different from Cackle because it's not about witches but about the Christmas spirit but I think the rest of the setup is actually kind of similar, you know, in the dynamic of these characters. So I'm making progress with that. I'm also about a quarter of the way through Lair of Dreams, so that one is going slowly, but I try to read a little bit of it at least every day. So I hope I can make my way through the Diviner series before the end of the year, but yeah, we'll see about that. Um, still quite a bit to go. And then for uh, today in Germany we have something called Nikolaus that is usually on the 6th of December and <laughs> as a child we had to clean our shoes for that and then the Nikolaus, which is basically like a Santa Claus, uh, would bring you small gifts like sweets or toys or something like that and put it in your clean shoes. So my best friend actually gave me a little gift for Nikolaus, which I unwrapped this morning and it is this book. It is called Three Cups of Tea, One Man's Mission to Promote Peace One School at a Time. And this is by Greg Mortensen and David Oliver Rellen. I don't know how to say that last name. But basically this is the story of a man who in the 90s wanted to climb uh, one of those like super crazy mountains. Um, I don't know, do you pronounce it K2? I have no idea. But he kind of got lost and then found himself in a uh, village in Pakistan and he was like very touched by the kindness of the people there and so he decided to use his time and his abilities of mountain climbing to build schools in very rural, like very far away villages that are hard to reach with materials. And this book is about that. So. We'll see. I'm intrigued by this. Um, an interesting non-fiction read. I'm always, always a little bit wary when it comes to Western people writing about these countries, but um, we'll see. Um, I, I'm definitely intrigued by this one because I had never heard of this person before. So that's it for the update and I'll let you know when something interesting happens. So it is the 9th of December and today two readathons are starting. Um, we have the Tome Atopple, which is I think the 27th round <laughs> and the whole thing of Tome Topple is to read books that are over 500 pages. So I will participate with Layer of Dreams for that for now. Um, this readathon goes two weeks so hopefully I will also start before the devil breaks you in that time and we'll see how far I can get with those. 
And then we also have the Magical Readathon mini round. So Aurelium is going into the winter break and we have the chance to go to the Old Favor Pass. I have the little visual here, so that's why I keep, in, keep looking in that direction. And we basically have the time to do some shopping for our characters. And we have, uh, I think, five different stores we can go to. And if you wanna learn more about that, there is a whole video by G um, just over at Book Roast where she explains everything everything but basically I've chosen three stories I want to go to and you always have a kind of genre prompt for each store and then more specific prompts for things you can buy there and so for these three stores I have chosen books that would fulfill both of those prompts but I also want to say that I will probably not finish all of these books during the time so maybe um, I will just look at the things and then maybe not completely buy them so I don't have to read the whole book. <laughs> um, so the first one is the most obvious one and that is Wallace's Wonderful Winter Venomal Store. It's a pet shop and petting zoo and that would definitely be the first thing I go to probably after a bookstore but the bookstore is mysteries and I don't really read mysteries so we're going to the pet store and that uh, is fantasy books and the two prompts are go on a zoo adventure an animal on the cover and eat a venomal winter waffles winter setting and so for that one I'm doing layer of dreams now the winter setting with that one <laughs> might not be super obvious but it is set in winter because the previous book was set I think in summer and autumn so Lair of Dreams is set in winter I'm counting it for it even though we don't get like the snowy vibes or anything like that but that's the book I will be reading for um, the animal store and I am about a third of the way into it so I'm quite hopeful that I will be able to finish it during this readathon. Then the next one I will definitely go to is the Smith and Friends and Sons at Arcane Goods and Such. <laughs> so this is kind of a general store for magical goods, which is always helpful, you know, just some knickknacks. And the genre prompt is contemporary, so I'm choosing a contemporary romance for that. And the two extra prompts are buy a miniature portal kit, a book set during a holiday, and buy enchanted self-writing quill and quick try ink, a book published this year. And for that one, I decided to go with my audiobook Winter Kisses at Roseford Cafe. So this one I had uh, chosen for my little try a chapter thing and it was on second place so I thought it would be a good option to go with for this readathon and then if I feel like super motivated and I want to visit a third store I do have another option so for the shawl and shank a legitimate retailer who sell curiosity trinkets and devices um, the challenge is to read a horror book and the two extra activities we have adopt a bone cat a necromancy kitty predominantly black cover and buy a rope of deception read a short story and for that one i have uh, the Turn of the Screw and other ghost stories. So for this one, I would actually count it if I only read one more story. I have been in the middle of this book for over a year now <laughs> and I just need to continue reading it. So yeah, we'll see whether I can sprinkle in some of these short stories uh, during the readathon to check off my third store. And then we have the rich the Rich Pigeon Pub, which is uh, drinks, live music and theater, no work, just wipes and company. And that's actually what I'm going to do this weekend because I'm going on a trip again <laughs> with my partner. We're visiting a town with a lovely Christmas market. And so, yeah, I will hopefully edit in some clips so you can see some of the wintry Christmassy stuff that we get up to but that is my plans for the magical readathon 
winter mini round. <laughs> so I guess uh, let's get going and I'll keep you updated. So I'm just about to head out. I have one hour left in Merkel on Christmas tree and I just wanted to say that the friend that our main character makes is such a toxic person like she is so manipulative and she expects things from others that she never gives herself and i think it's such a horrible relationship to be honest like it completely escalated right now and our main character had no part in it at all it was not her fault and still she's like apologizing and like accommodating to this friend who treats her like shit and there have been so many instances throughout this book that were uncomfortable to me but this like whole scene right now made me so angry so yeah totally no christmas feelings at all and i want to kick that bitch so bad so yeah i'm just gonna pack up my things and head out <laughs> Das ist der Heimischen. Der Heimischen. Ja. Oh, ist der kleine blaue Ärger drin. Mm. Die haben irgendwie Beef, ja. Voll süß. Hallo, ich Thank you. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So good morning, today is the 12th of December. I look a little bit disheveled and I definitely feel it, but uh, I'm back from my trip. It was so lovely. It was like the perfect winter uh, weekend. We went to the zoo and we went to a museum yesterday. Um, that was really well done and interesting. So uh, yeah, it was such a great time, but I'm <laughs> really tired now and have to get to work. I finished my audiobook yesterday, The Miracle on Christmas Street. Overall, I decided to give it 3.5 stars. It was fun. The themes definitely reminded me of Cackle, which was interesting. Um, and yeah, I already talked about the friendship bit that I didn't really love, but obviously it being a Christmas story, you have kind of a happy ending and I thought that one was done quite well. I want to repeat again that this is not a romance, even though there is some a romantic tension with the character, it's a very, very minor part of the book and it doesn't really go <laughs> very far in the end. But um, yeah, it's more a novel about uh, picking yourself back up and finding out what you really want and what makes you happy. And yeah, it was fun, it was cute. Um, Still, I think that some of the characters were overdrawn way too much and a couple of things also made me a little bit uncomfortable. But yeah, if you just want a kind of mindless Christmas story, I think this one is fine. I did start my new book now that I want to listen to for the Magical Readathon mini round and that is Winter Kisses at the Roseford Cafe. And I have only listened to about half an hour so far, but... I'm 
really excited about it. I will probably tell you more about it uh, in my next update because I'm running quite late right now. But I'm very excited to get to it. It has a movie that has been made um, as the kind of backdrop of the story. And we have a romance, I think, with one of the movie stars and a single mom who's running a cafe. So that sounds very cozy, very fun. A little bit out there, but still Christmassy. So I'm very excited for this book. It also sounds very British, which I always really enjoy. And then I'm also making some progress in Lair of Dreams, but it's going really, really slowly and I hope that I can pick up the speed this week for sure. So I'll keep you updated and now let's head to work. So today is the 16th of December and I think I will stop the vlog right here because I feel like I'm not gonna vlog a lot during the Christmas days so uh, I think cutting it off right in the middle is a good idea. Unfortunately I can't really tell you anything um, new about the books that I'm reading. I have about 150 pages left of uh, Lair of Dreams, so I hope that I will be able to finish it by tomorrow night. We'll see about that, um, but that would be quite nice for the Magical Readathon. And then for my audiobook, which is um, Winter Kisses at Roseford Cafe, I have two hours left, so I will also probably finish that tomorrow when I'm cleaning the apartment. And so that one will be finished for the Magical Readathon as well, which is great because then I have finished two of the kind of shops prompts that I talked about. And uh, yeah, then I only have to read one of the short stories in the collection I talked about to get the third story kind of done. I haven't finished a book for that in that instance, but I think it's still fine because one of the prompts is to read a short story, so I'm not gonna count it for that. So yeah, um, Magical Readathon is going quite well. For the Tom Topple as well, I'm reading a Lair of Dreams for that currently. And then because it runs a little bit longer than the Magical Readathon, I hope that I will be able to pick up the sequel. I think that's how the devil breaks you <laughs> for um, the Tom Topple as well. And I probably won't finish that before Christmas, let's be real, but I will have time off starting on uh, Christmas Eve, basically. So uh, I should have some time to read before the year is over. So if you're interested in that, there will be a part two to this vlog, but I really hope you enjoyed watching so far. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I was up to. Let me know how your first half of the month has gone reading wise. And yeah, um, have a lovely time, a lovely Christmas, if you celebrate, leave a like or a nice comment, always appreciate those. And yeah, if you subscribe, I will talk to you very soon with like all the yearly wrap up content that your heart desires. So yeah, see ya, bye. <laughs>